Hey guys, it is time for Skosh Box, the bigger of the two, the Deca Box. And this one is for April. It's a little late, but better late than never. There's some really interesting stuff that actually came in the Deca Box. I'm kind of upset that I didn't get to do it back in April. But, you know, life gets a hold of you and strangles the life out of you. Which is weird, because it's life strangling life. Anyway, our first one is these pret sticks in honey butter flavor. My guess is they're like the pretz, which is pretty much pocky without the chocolate. And honey butter sounds really tasty, actually. And also really cute packaging, because you can. It's kind of a staple, almost. And the packaging continues to be really adorable. Let's see what we got here. Well, they smell really nice. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's very, you know, plain biscuit stick. Hmm. Can't really say I'm tasting honey or butter. It's just kind of nice and sweet. Which is fine by me. Hmm. Man. I was expecting, like, super honey flavor or something, but still tasty. I could make my own Pocky. I think I might do that. Yes. Alright. Next thing is... These crazy firm gummies in apple cider. And they look like little wiggly noodles or something. And what's nice about these, it's resealable. So that's always awesome. And I remember the grape ones I've had before, which were tasty. So these are apple cider, so... Hmm. Well, they definitely smell very apple-y. Like a nice sort of crisp apple smell to them, if that makes sense, being crisp. A little sour on the outside. And my voice is leaving me, so that's fun. A little sour. But a very nice apple flavor to it. Hmm. Not getting the cider to it, but still very tasty. Gotta save those. Now, the bread bites I got in the regular deck, uh, the regular Scotch box, not Deca box. This is the Deca box. There are little buns and a little bit of chocolate cream in the middle. So I'm not gonna open this one in particular because they were pretty tasty last time, and I want to save these because they do go stale pretty quick since it, it is. It's pretty much actual little bread, so it goes stale really quickly. Really, dogs, you've got to choose now to, like, bark like crazy people. Could you not? Please don't. Please, no. Okay, I think they just wanted to look out the window. Anyway, moving swiftly forward, which is something that I'm a little afraid of. These, uh, shrimp crackers. I'm, I'm a little frightened by these. These could either be wonderful or horrendous. Yeah, shrimp chips are not really my thing. Let's see. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. Just smelling them. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like, oh, it smells like seaweed. And then the fishy death comes in. Mm. I think the birds might be getting these. But I will brave... I will brave a taste, at least one, because they are so itty-bitty, and I mean super itty-bitty. So, you can imagine you get a whole lot of these in here, but ugh, I really don't want to try this, though. It just smells really unpleasant. No, you know what? I don't think I can brave this. Just the smell alone, for me, is just not doing it. It, it does smell like horrendous shrimp. Which, 
I mean, if you like shrimp chips, these must be delicious, but the smell is really off-putting to me. So I think the birds are going to get these, which is a shame because I know they make a bunch of flavors of that particular, like, little chip um, rice cake. I'm not entirely sure. But I, uh, shrimp chips are new. Not for me. All right. Next one is a DIY candy that I will be doing in a separate video by Crazy or Carassier or this guy. That guy right there. It's pretty much, let's see. Hmm. I know I've seen this one done before. From what I can guess, it's pretty much like uh, the, the old toy, the barrel of monkeys. You just kind of like unloop their tails and try and like pick them up, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Or... No! This is a little different. Alright, it actually has instructions. This is nice. Okay, let's see. You make this, like, stage thing. And then you stack the monkeys on it. And it... Okay, you stack the monkeys and see how many you can get without it toppling over. Alright, that makes a little more... I like my barrel of monkeys idea better, but I don't think they'd work. But... This one's pineapple flavor, so that should be tasty. So look for a video with the DIY stuff in it in the near future. Next, we have Morinaga Bake Cookies. Now, I've had their baked chocolates before, which is this really strange sort of mix of cookie and almost like brownie, if that makes sense. And you can actually put them in the microwave or the toaster oven for a little bit and... The inside melts, but the outside stays really crispy, so it's like molten chocolate in the middle, but obviously not that deathly hot, so you won't murder your face. This one, I'm going to guess it's like just cookie on top and then the, the baked chocolate on the bottom. I'm going to guess. Why doesn't this have an easy open? Nope, I'm just going to murder the packaging. Oh no. Nope, this is not opening as planned. Ah, there we go. Alright. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty much just like I thought. The little tiny bit of cookie on top, and then this baked chocolate, which is kind of hard to describe, but it's like brownie and cookie and aerated chocolate all in one. And they're just wonderful, because they're, they're actually like, slightly soft in the center. So you get this crisp outer layer. I don't know if you can see that. But then the inside is, like, soft cream, almost. Or just chocolate. I think it's just regular chocolate, actually. I don't think it's cream at all. Hmm. But yeah, it's just it's this weird sort of textural thing. Like, right there, there's the outer shell and then the filling. So that's really tasty. I might try and put these in the toaster oven later. And see if they get even better. I'm going to guess they do. Let's see. Next, after a sip of coffee. Hmm. Ooh, it's gone cold. That's not good. We have some crispy chocolate bits and a sticker. Not too concerned about the sticker. But I like the idea of crispy chocolate bits. I'm guessing they're going to look like that. With my assumption, anyway. Let's see. Well, this is different. So are they like chocolate-covered giant puffs or something? Yes, they are! Huh. Giant chocolate puffs. I am okay with this. Hmm. And the actual, like, let's see, crisped uh, corn for this one. It's actually not super sweet, so the chocolate isn't overpowering either. Those are very nice. Hmm. Besides the fancy packaging, I don't know where or what those would be if I would want to try and reorder them. Hmm. And this thing, I'm kind of terrified about. This is the, the special accessory. The non-edible deliciousness. I mean, you could eat the beads if you really wanted to. But this one is apparently one of the most difficult, since it has the uh, three hearts. 
but it's a little cell phone charm that you make out of beads and like some fishing twine, uh, fishing line, not twine. That's different. And you make a cute little kitty. There was also dogs, monkeys, a bunny rabbit, and I think a panda. So I got the cat, and this one's apparently really difficult. Oh my goodness. Apparently three hours to make this little thing. Hmm. And there are instructions on Scotchbox's site that actually help a lot more than the obviously not in English ones. So I might do another video of this. I might just show the finished product. I'm not quite sure because it tiny tiny beads. And I might get so frustrated that I'll just throw it across the room and make my own like abomination. I'm not sure. So maybe stay tuned for a video on this. I don't know. We'll see. But apart from those shrimp chips, this was a really good box. The, I, I wonder if the dogs would even like the shrimp chips. I don't know. Doggies, you want shrimp chips? Yes, of course we do. Come here. Come here, put your little noses in frame. Come here. Come here. Come here. One for you. <laughs> and one for you. Well, they seem to like them. Well, one seems to like them. The other one is a little... Nah, 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 nah. You only get one right now. The rest are... I don't, I don't want to make you sick. You get one. You get one. Did you eat that? Get out of the frame! Get out of the frame. They really want to help. Do you want to be my co-host? Yeah? My little furry co-host. I'm just going to have a conversation with my dogs. Don't mind me. But, uh, yeah, apart from the shrimp chips... This was a good box, but I don't want to say the shrimp chips are bad. They're just not my thing. So, overall, really good box. And I'm definitely going to have way too many snacks later, but that's okay. Yeah, yes, dog nose? Would you, would you like to help? I think she wants to say bye. You want to say bye? No? You just want head rubs? Alright. So, until next time, guys. Take care of yourselves.